last class we discussed the relations our first chapter now today in this tutorial we have to discuss about the functions our next topic is in relation to function that will be functions So let us see what is the function. Function is a part of the relation. Function is a subset of the relation in which there is only one image of its pre-image. Let us see from mapping. We have two sets, set A and set B, and we have some element in this. And we have some different elements in set B. So we discussed the functions in class 11th also. Okay, what is the meaning of function? If this element is related to this element, this one is related to this element, related to this element, and this one is related to this element. This can be a function, right? This is a function from A to B. This can be written as a function from A to B. What do we mean by set A and set B? Set A is called domain of the function, and set B is called co-domain of the function. This set is called domain, and this set is called co-domain. So, what is the range of the function? The range is a subset of co-domain that elements are related with its pre-image. That is called the range. So these elements, the set of these four elements, is called the range. So range is not equal to the co-domain in every case, right? So this is one of the example of the function. But if in any case, if we have two different images of the set. This cannot be a function. Let us see a function p to p. This cannot be a function. Here, function e. This is a relation, but this is not a function because we have two different images of a single element. So this is not a function. In a function, function is small part of relation in which there must be a single image of a, every element of its domain. So there are three things: domain, co-domain, and range of this function. Let us see. These elements are called small a, small b, small c, small d, and these elements are p, q, r, s, t. So in this case, we can say that in this case, we can say that domain of this function is the set of element a, b, c, d. This is called the domain, and range can be written as P, Q, R, S. That elements are related. And what is co-domain of this set? Co-domain is the second set that is P, Q, R, S, T. This is called the co-domain of a function. And you know the definition of the function. We discussed uh, the graph of the function, definition, and some basic concept of form of the function in the class 11th also. Now in the class 12th, we have to discuss some. Important types of the function only, right? So, how many types of the function? There are many types of function, but according to Sylvius or J. Mayer syllabus, we have to discuss about the three types of function. Actually, functions have different types, so, but in this topic, we have to discuss three types of functions. Three types of functions, right? First one is called one-one function. One-one function. Very important. First, we have to discuss about one-one function. Right? One-one function. What do we mean by one-one function? This is clear from the name of the function. One-one function for an element of a domain. There must be one and only one element. In its co-domain, this is called one-one function. The second type is called many-one function. That is not in the syllabus, but in the case of many-one syllabus, a many-one function, we can say that many-one, more than one element having the same image. 
in its core domain. That is called the many one function. So now we have to discuss about the one one function. So let us see from mapping. We have two sets A and B, and this is the function from A to B. These are the elements. Let us see. These are the elements. And in core domain, many elements are there. So for one element. There must be a unique image in its core domain. This type of function is called the one-one function. For an element, for an element in domain, there must be a unique image in its core domain. And for every element in domain, there must be an image in its core domain. So we can say that this function is one-one function. So this is one-one function. And how can we say that the function is one-one if f x one is equal to f x two imply that x one is equal to x two then we can say that the function is one one function for each for one element in domain there must be a unique image in its core domain this is called the one one function and this function can also be written as injective function this is also called injective Injective function is one-one function for an element. What we what we mean of f x one is equal to f x two, then x one must be equal to x two. Then only we can say that the function is injective function or one-one function. Why do we think of onto function? Let us see. Let us discuss about the onto function. Onto. No need to discuss about many one function. You know the. You know the definition of the many one function. Many one is clear from the name. Many one, many element, more than one element having the same image in its core domain. That is called the many one function. So according to mapping, we can say that this is called the many one function. Many one, many one, more than one element having the same image in its core domain. This type of function is called many one function. Right, and this function is called one-one function. Now we have to discuss about the onto function. What do we mean by onto function? Onto, onto function. Let us see from the mapping. We have two sets A and B, right? We have two sets A and B, and there is some element in this and some element in this. The question is, what do we mean by onto function? If the definition of onto function is very clear from this diagram, for each and every element of core domain, there must be a pre-image in its domain. For every element of its core domain, there must be a pre-image in its domain. So this type of function is called onto function. This is not onto function. This is not onto function. Why? Because we have some element in this, this one, this one, and this one. There is no pre-image of this element. There is no pre-image of these elements. So this function is not onto function. But this function is onto function, right? This function is onto function, right? So this function is one-one function, and this function is onto function. Onto function means the core domain is equal to the range of the function. Let us see. Please consider some element in this A. B, C, P, Q. Let us see. So, in onto function, we can say that the range of the function must be equal to the core domain of the function. If core domain is equal to the range, then we can say that that function is onto function. What do we mean by core domain? Second complete set is called core domain, and the second set, the element related to its core domain. Related to its domain, that is called the range of the function. So, in the case if the uh, range is equal to the core domain, we can say that that function is onto function. And onto function can also be written as the surjective function. This can also be written as the surjective function. And one-one function can be written as injective function. And if a function If a function is both injective as well as surjective, that is called the bijective function. You can say that a function 
which is injective and surjective both injective and surjective both called bijective function this is called the bijective function right so these are the very important types of function there are three types of the function first one is injective function second one is surjective function and third one is bijective function if a function is injective and surjective both that is called the bijective function for function is one one as well as or two that is called the bijective function right so these are very important definition if we have to prove a function is one one or not whether j it is one one or not we have to follow this rule let us consider for two element fx1 is equal to fx2 what do we mean by fx1 if a function y is equal to fx then the value of y is equal to fx if a function y is equal to fx then x is equal to domain and y is equal to range right so if fx1 is equal to fx2 i need to simplify this one to get x1 is equal to x2 if satisfy this formula then we can say that that function is one one function either we can say that this one or we can say by, by the graph or by the mapping also for example for example for example if we have function natural number to natural number right and fx equal to 2x is it one one function check whether this function is one one or not check whether this function is injective or not this function is surjective or not we have to check for injectivity and surjectivity we have two sets natural number to natural number in any question if the question is written natural number to natural number in this case the set before the arrow sign is called domain of the function and the set after the arrow sign is called codomain of that function this is very important concept f r to r the real number to real number f n to n natural number to natural number f r to n real number to natural number f w to z whole number to integers right so here natural number to natural number so domain natural number 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on whole domain 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 5 and so on right now let us see from mapping let us consider x and 1 if you take x and 1 then fx is what 2 if you consider x and 1 then 2 multiply 1 what 2 so you can draw the mapping like 1 2 if you consider x and 2 it becomes 4 3 then 6 Four, then eight, and so on. For each and every natural number in domain, there must be a unique element in four domains. For each and every element of its domain, there must be a unique image in its four domain. For each and every natural number, there must be a natural number in its four domain. If you consider here hundred, it must be two hundred. So for every element, there must be a single element, unique image. Unique image. So this function one 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 one. We get it from the name one one function. This function one one. So we can say that it is one one function. One one. Or we can also say that this is injective function. Injective or one one. Same thing. Now check the surjectivity. Is it surjective? No. This is not surjective function. It is not surjective function. Why? Because we have some element one, three, five, seven. There is no pre-image for this element. In the natural number, let us consider if you can write f x is y y equal to two x. So we can write x equal to y by two or f x by two. If you consider y as a natural number, x is a one by two. Not possible in the case of natural number in the set of natural number. If you consider y is a one, one by two. 
Maybe 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 is not a part of this set natural number, 1 by 2 is not a part of this natural number. So this function is not selective function. Why is it not selective? In the selective function, rest, the range must be equal to four domain and for each and every element of its four domain, there must be a, a pre-evaluated domain. That type of function is called onto function, but in this case not possible. 1, 3, 5, 7, we have some element in its four domain, there is no pre image for those elements. So here, four domain is not equal to the range. If four domain is not equal to range, so therefore it is not onto function. This function is not onto function, this function is not onto. You have to check something. Domain and codomain are according to mapping. We can say that a function is 1 1 or not, on 2 or not. I think you got the point. How can we check a function 1 1 or not, or on 2 or not? Right? It's the same question if we have a function from the real number to real number and same thing fx equal to 2x. Now is it injection, is it subjective? Let us see. Real number to real number. You know about real number? In real number we can consider any element like negative value, fractional value, 0, we can take any value. And you know if you put, if you put these value in the place of x, there must be a single element in fx. If you put minus 1 in the place of 2, you will get minus 2 here, yes, single element. If you put 1 by 2 here, it becomes 1, 1 by 2 to 1, right? If you put 0, it becomes 0. If you put 3, it becomes 6. For every real number, if you put a real number in the place of x, then 2x must be a real number, a single real number. If you put x, if you put x, in the place of any real number in the place of x, then 2x must be a real number, a single real number. So we can say that for each and every element in domain, there is a unique image in its co-domain. So this function is injective function. Yeah, this is injective or one one function. Because for every element of real number in domain, there must be a unique image in its co-domain. Is there any element in the code domain which has no pre event? No, not possible. Let us see. This can also be written x equal to fx by 2. Right? This can also be written x equal to fx by 2. This is called x and this is called fx. If you consider a real number, this is the real number. If you consider a real number here, the real number divided by 2 must be a real number. The real number, if you divide, a real number by 2, there must be a real number, it's domain. Any you can take an element like, like you can take 2 by 3, yeah, there is pre image for this 2 by 3. You can write it as 2 by 3 becomes 1 by 3, very simple. For each and every element of a real number, there must be a pre image domain. So we can say that here, four domain is equal to the range. They know the, there is no single element in this code domain which has no pre image in this. For each and every element in this code domain, there must be a pre image in this domain. So, in this case, we can say that this is also subjective. Why subjective? Because here, code domain is equal to the range. Code domain and range are equal, so this function is subjective. If a function is subjective and injective, both this is called bijective function same function, both are the same function. The question is very important, this one, this part is very important. Function which set to which set, domain to codomain, domain to codomain, here domain to codomain natural number, for some element in this then no a natural number in this. So this function is not subjective, but in this case this function is subjective, very point is real number to real number. You can also check this question, Integers to integers, whole number to whole number, real number to natural number, and so on. You can solve this type of question very simple by mapping. Let us see for, for some different example for this. 
convolutional example for this, let us see function integers to integers and fx equal to x square fx equal to x square, let us see is it injected? is it injected? is this function injective or not? we have to check its injectivity or subjectivity so z to z integers to integers if you put an integer here minus 1 in the place of x you get 1 if you put 1 here you will get 1 injectivity fails here injectivity fails this function not injected this is many one function not the one one function this function not one one for two elements in domain there is a single image in its core domain so this function is not injective function this is not injective and integers we can write integers at 2, 3, 4, 5 yes if you consider 2 here there is no pre image in this let us see this can be written x equal to root fx if you put x fx i2 the next can be written root 2 here is root 2 a part of integers? no we cannot take the root 2 as a part of integers it is not possible so there is no pre image for 2 here there is no pre image for 3 here but there is a pre image for 4 minus 2 there is pre image for 4 2 yes there is no pre image for 2, 3 and 5 for integers yeah if, if the question will be the real number to integers then function must be subjective but here integers to integers so there, there is some integers in the core domain there is no pre image in the domain so we can say that this function is neither injective neither injective nor subjective this function is neither injective nor subjective very simple if you have to find injectivity you can check the value for each and every element in domain there must be a unique image in core domain if you have to check the subjectivity write x in terms of y write x in terms of y then put the value of y as integers or natural number whichever you give the question right by this way we can solve we can check the injectivity and subjectivity of a question right now let us see some question related to injectivity or subjectivity. These are very simple question. Depend on mapping of the function. Actually, graph of the function is very important topic in the function that we already discussed in the class 11, right? Graph how to draw the graph of root x square root function modulus function, square, square function, polynomial function, trigonometric function, exponential function, logarithmic function, inverse trigonometric function which if you know the basic concept to draw the graph you can draw the graph for each and every function that is very important concept actually in function but you know you, we already discussed in class 11 how to draw a graph of a function that's why we discussed these things direct types of functions in the class 12 topic injectivity, subjectivity and the bijective function let us see some question related to injectivity or subjectivity how can we solve this let us see the question is question is prove that prove that the function function f of the real number minus 3 to the real number minus 1 given by fx equal to x minus 2 by x minus 3 e a bijection what do we mean by bijection? means this function injection as well as subjection we have to check injectivity and subjectivity this is the function both injective and subjective that must be bijective function let us see how fx equal to x minus 2 by x minus 3 right 
to to find check the injectivity there is a formula for this injectivity or to check the injectivity according to mapping the domain is all real number but not three and the co domain is all real number but not one this is called the co domain and this is called the domain for injectivity we have to consider let two elements x1 and x2 and consider f x1 is equal to f x2 to find to check the injectivity we can consider f x1 is equal to f x2 and simplify this we must get x1 is equal to x2 if x1 is equal to x2 means uh, there is a single element in domain and unique image is co domain unique image is co domain this is image fx1 fx2 two images are same fx1 fx2 two images are same and the objects also same x1 and x2 so each and every element is domain there must be a image unique image is co domain if you prove x1 is equal to x2 by this you can say that the function is injective function so Let us see. Fx1 can be written as x1 minus 2 divided by x1 minus 3 equal to x2 minus 2 divided by x2 minus 3. Let us simplify this one by cross multiplying between x1 x2 minus 3 x1 minus 2 x2 plus 6 is equal to x1 x2 minus 2 x1 minus 3 x2 plus 6. x1 x2 cancel. 6 is cancel. We can write it as minus 3 x1. Minus two x two is equal to minus two x one minus three x two, right? So we can see x one left hand side minus three x one plus two x one and right hand side minus three x two plus two x two, right? It can be written as minus x one equal to minus x two. So therefore, x one equal to x two. If x one equal to x two, we can say that f is injective. Function. So, if it is injective function, if it is injective function, how to find the subjectivity? Second, second point, subjectivity. How to check a function is subjective or not? The very important formula to check the subjectivity that is co-domain must be equal to the range. Co-domain. R minus one must be equal to the range. If codomain is equal to range, that function is subjective. Codomain not equal to range, that function not subjective. So that in this question we have to find the range. Do you know how to find the range of the function? We discussed in class eleven how to find the range of a function. Let us see. F x is equal to y equal to x minus two x minus three. If you have to find the range of the function. If we have to find the range of a function, you need to simplify this function and write x in terms of y. That is the formula to find the range of a function that we learnt in the class 11th. If we have to find the range of a function, you need to write f(x) and y and simplify by cross multiplying and write x in terms of y. If we write x in terms of y, the value, all possible values, y is called the range of the function. Then after cross multiplying, we we'll get x y minus three y equal to x minus two. X y minus x equal to three y minus two. If you get it, if you take x common, we will write it as three y minus two y y minus. If you take x common here, y minus one, the remaining part we divide and right hand side. This is x in terms of y. Now what is the range? All possible value of y is called then. Here we can say that y not equal to one. Denominator cannot be equal equal to one. We discussed, we learnt in the class 11th how to find the range of the function. The function is the rational function. The denominator not equal to zero. If a function is square root function, then that value is greater than equal to zero. If a function is modulus function, we learnt in class 11th how to find the range. So this is a this is a rational function. So in this case, denominator is not equal to zero. So for every real number of y, there is a real number in x except one. We cannot take one in the place of y except one. We can take each and every real number. For that real number, there must be a real number in 
x. So therefore, the range of this function can be written all real number but not one. And what is code domain? Code domain is already given. The set before the before this uh, arrow is called the domain, and after the arrow is called the code domain. So it is given that code domain of this function r minus one. So here the range is equal to code domain. So f is surjective. Therefore, yes, here x is injective as well as subjective, therefore f is a bijection or bijective function. By this way, we can solve the question related to injectivity and subjectivity. It's very simple concept. It's very simple concept. To find injectivity, we have a formula. Let us consider x1 to the effect and 2x1 to the x2 for if you consider two elements are equal in the right hand side then both elements are also equal in the domain also. If you consider two elements in four domain are equal, then both the elements are also equal in domain. So we can say that this function is injective and to find the subjectivity we must find, uh, we must prove the four domain is equal to the range. If four domain is not equal to range, the function is not subjective. Very simple. So this is very important example. Very important question for four marks. Let us see some more examples. Uh, a function f a real number to real number and a function fx equal to a greatest integer function of x. And the question is prove that this is neither 1-1 one, one nor on 2. Prove that this is neither 1-1 one, one nor on 2. Prove that this function is neither 1-1 one, one nor on 2. It's very simple. Neither 1-1 one, one nor on 2. According to mapping, we can prove this one. If you consider x has 1.1 or 1.2, there is a single image 1 in this. Do you know about the greatest integer function? For every value in this, the value of the greatest, the value of fx is the price, the uh, integral value just below that value. Right? So, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.99 have the same image 1. 2.1, 2.2, 2.99 have the same image 2. So this is many one function, this is not one one. This is not one one function. How it is not on to? This is not one one we prove according to mapping. This is not on to function. Why? Because this is real number to real number. Let us see, real number to real number. If you have 1.1 1 .1 here, you don't have any pre-image in this. Because if you put any value in the place of x, you must find the integral value in its range. So here range is not equal to code domain because code domain is range. So real number or range is integer. Range is integer and code domain is real numbers. These are not equal. These are not equal. Range and code domain. So we can say that this function is not subjective. This is neither injective nor subjective, right? You can also solve the question related to modulus function. Trigonometric function. You can also solve the question related to trigonometric function, logarithmic function, exponential function, as well as inverse trigonometric function. But in most syllabus, generally question can be asked in either algebraic function or trigonometric function. Let us see what trigonometric function we have to check the injectivity and subjectivity for q minus p to q given by fx equal to we have to find, uh, we have to check a question of trigonometry function, right? Let us see real number to real number 
given by fx equal to sin square x plus cos square x. Sin square x plus cos square x. Is it injective? Is it injective or not? Let us see. Try to consider a two real number which has the same image. If you find a two real number having the same image, you can say that that is not injective function. Very simple in this. For every real number of x, for every real number of x, the value of sin square x plus cos square x will always be one. So there is one and one single element one here in the range. If you consider a real number as pi by six, let us see pi by six. Sin square pi by six is how much? 1 by 4 and cos square pi by 6 how much? 3 by 4 that becomes 1 yes if you consider pi by 4 and pi by 4 this is 1 by root 2 whole square 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 1 this is also 1 for two elements in domain there is single element in the p event co domain is it injective? no this is not injective not injective this is not injective it is subjective? no why because here core domain is all real number. This is called the core domain. The set after the error sign is called the core domain. And what is range here? 1 only. In this case, the range of the function 1 and core domain is all real number. Both are not equal, so this function is not subjective. You can, write, you can answer this question by writing some statement, by writing some definition of injectivity and subjectivity. Very simple. Just to know the definition of injectivity and subjectivity, you can solve the every question related to injectivity and subjectivity. You can solve each and every question related to injectivity and subjectivity, no problem. Very simple concept. Now you can solve the question related to injectivity and subjectivity. In the next tutorial, we will discuss the composition of function and some different questions related to injectivity and subjectivity. Thank you.